So we've got this model, right, of being able to expand into potentially rural areas which have been left out by traditional telcos. And we'd like to make sure that people are incentivized to expand this network. Explain how this would work to me when we're talking about giving lower cost internet access to those regions which have been underserved. And explain also how this fits in with the solar model which you guys have talked about. Solar is just a way to create energy where there's no grid. You need a battery, you need a solar power, uh, and you work backwards from there. So we know that our node is consuming very little power. I mean, you know, 20, maybe 50 watts at the, at the peak of usage. Um, so that you really don't need a lot of energy. Almost every single major highway in Zanzibar has a fiber network uh, deployed on it, so that's one. We can do point to point, which is like two devices talking off towers, do uh, free space optics, a TV wide space, you can do no more free band. These are all within the realms of regulation. But then you have this element of the villages or the places where there's no fiber, uh, point to point becomes next to impossible, yeah. but the nearest tower is probably like 50, 60 miles away. So you have VSAT. That VSAT is talking back to your, our hub. Technology that you deploy is just cheaper.